Well, hello and welcome to this uh, exercise of sketching a graph uh, using functions. Again, an IGCSE additional mathematics question or A level math question as well. And also, I think it should be suitable for anybody doing high school algebra. And here we go. It says that using function notation and starting from y is equal to x squared, sketch the graph of y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. Taking the equation of a line of symmetry. Okay, now to do this, we need to use uh, our skills on uh, completing squares as a starting point. So, in effect, I can rewrite my equation by factorizing 2 out as 2 into s squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, now for the inner bracket, I can do um, the usual uh, completing complete, complete squares. Again, uh, that involves um, uh, using half the coefficient of x, in this case minus 2, half of minus 2 is minus 1, and you do x minus 1 all squared. When you open up these brackets here, the x minus 1 all squared, we're going to end up with plus 1. So we need to subtract 1 there. Okay, so we then end up with two uh, square brackets open and um, another open bracket x minus 1 all squared minus 1 minus 3. So we then end up with y being 2 into x minus 1 squared minus 4. Okay, right. Now if we start from, say, um, if we say let g of x equal to x squared, because it's supposed to start from the, from the, uh, from y is equal to x squared. If we say GS, g of x equal to x squared, our graph will look something like this one here. So that's the graph of g of x, or if you like y is equal to x squared. Now next, we need to plot uh, the graph of g of x, so g of x minus 1. In other words, we replace uh, x by x minus 1. So we've got g of x minus 1 is equal to, that's my saying, x minus 1 all squared, because we now replace our x with x minus 1. And the graph uh, will be something like this one and this the second graph. So that's the graph of y is equal to x minus 1 squared or, gra or the graph of g of x minus 1. Okay, now for this one, which is graph number 3, f of x is the same as g of x minus 1 minus 4. Okay, so now we are going to translate uh, graph. Uh, Two by down, downwards, uh, four units downwards. Okay, so here we go. Right now, what I've done for uh, this slide is to um, kind of copy down uh, some of the um, uh, graphs we had on uh, or from uh, slide one. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so that's the first one here, and that graph number one. And that's for y is equal to x squared, x squared or uh, g of x. And again, for this one here, uh, we can show from graph 1 to graph 2, in which we've translated the graph of g of x to become the graph of g of x minus 1, because we replace x with x minus 1. So the graph, so graph 2 is the graph of y is equal to x minus 1 all squared. And now for graph 3, and what we then have is this one here. So we're looking at this function here. We're going to translate graph 2 four units downwards. We're going to translate graph 2 four units downwards. So graph 3 is uh, right, this one here. And we've got graph 1, graph 2, and then and graph 3 there. Now, note here that we move from graph 1, which is y is equal to x squared, one unit to the right, and one point, sorry, four units down. So that's a translation of 1 minus 4. Okay. Now, what I've done here is to create a summary of all the graphs we've got there before graphs all together. Now, for the last graph, the graph of h of x is equal to 2, of, sorry, the graph of h of x is equal to 2 times f of x. Okay, 
So our graph then becomes this one here, which is graph 4. Now note that graph 4 is in effect graph 3 has been transformed by stretch. The scale factor of 2. Note therefore graph 3 for this point, this point here is 1 minus 4. The equivalent point on graph 4 with the x coordinate of 1, the y coordinate is now minus 8. So that's double. So graph 3 has been transformed by stretch uh, parallel to the y axis with a stretch factor of uh, 2. And also note that the line of symmetry for the final graph, which is a graph we actually require, the line of symmetry for the final graph is x is equal to 1. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again sometime. Bye-bye now.